My friends, welcome, welcome back. It's a new year and we are going to continue with our Stellaris playthrough of the Devouring Swarm, which is, uh, we, we had it, we had to settle status quo, it, it, dragging it out wasn't going to do us a lot, but now we can actually focus on, uh, on a few new items. Yes, like, uh, perhaps the cruiser, um, the type P, well, hmm, that's missiles. Could be interesting though, getting some missiles on there. But let's pause it for a second. Oh, that would be so strong against small ships. But do we want that? Look, the the, the thing is with, with with small and medium, it's the tracking and the range. Like tracking is better on small. We could do it like this, like getting a a small cruiser out there. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. Let's see, the range is 30, that's 100. And 40. So it, it's it's going to be a very short ranged um, missile boat by the looks of it. This definitely is a missile boat. But do we want these weapons on here? Or do we want to get more like disruptors going? More penetration? And there's a shield damage and armor damage. So we do need something to damage uh, the uh, the armor which uh, this guy comes into mm. it's just shield penetration that's what I'm worried about is that we don't do enough shield damage usually I would just go with like go with a medium and eventually just switch it up to a large uh, large weapon type cruiser but we don't see too many cruisers yet, and we do see a lot of uh, of cruisers. Maybe just start off with a full medium. Get rid of you for now, and make sure it's like 50-50. Mm. I'll go with the armor. What we what we desperately lack, in my opinion, is uh, is missiles. And I think that's, this would be a good time to stop flipping you guys into missiles. Close range missile boats. And we still don't have enough for the afterburners. We are working on a new energy source, so let's save you. Mm. Swarming, evasion. Yeah, I would like to have the evasion as high as possible. And we could use the cruiser as uh, indeed like a damage ship like the medium designs i'll keep them as, uh, as medium as possible here we go let's get rid of you and let's get some more armor damage in there upgrade that design it's fast though here we go again here we go again i can't change the uh, thing that just as long so epsilon there we go pi let's get rid of pi nobody likes pi and we're going to Epsilon. Now the destroyers will keep them this way because we know that we'll get into point defense. And I would like to keep as much damage as possible to shields and armor for now. Uh, but we will change that. Not right now, but we will. Defensive platforms. Uh, we're still not building those. So. Uh, the disruptors, of course. Uh, let's get the plasma throwers in there because these actually do armor and hull damage. So if we can destroy shields, then that would be fantastic. Uh, the iron disruptor. Mm, energy. Oh, very nice. Let's do it. Let's get the uh, the extra energy because oh boy. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's my my everyday kind of economy. Like always, I'm uh, making sure that I uh, I make a mess of things. This is going to be quite a shock though. Let's make sure that we at least get a cruiser in there. Do like this. Two and six. Everyone's going to be the same. It's more than 3k. So let's uh, save. 
and we're not upgrading until we have more we need to increase the uh, the size of our stations uh, because that would boost our naval capacity a lot more you are done that's now we are going to send you back to where Gaul. let's send you to Gaul. assist in the research there otherwise there is no need to keep you you are done constructing apparently fleet order was cancelled on you Let's get mining, let's get a research on our hands. Get rid of that. Oh boy. That food though. Let's see. You are definitely a food planet. Is there a way for me to boost the food? Let's pause here. Let's see. No, there's not. So what we will do is build this district. How about you? Well, you're definitely energy research. We are not having enough houses. We can boost that with that. I'm actually considering building the energy grid. 15% more. And 15% more on this is not so much, but we will can fully, fully build this out. And then it's going to be gorgeous. It's just a, uh, a extra. Uh, this is 12. Well, that's just as nice at the moment. Let's get rid of this for now. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So, what is going to be the next one? Sensor range? No. Rating? I don't care about. Gene modification? Oh, that is very nice. That would be very nice. We could get rid of those negatives. Naval capacity is also very nice, but we're not there yet. Interstellar Dominion. Grasping the Void. More Unity. And more Population Amnity usage, negative 10. Also very nice. Don't care about that. Administrative cap I don't care about. Leader cap I don't care about. I'm very... Actually, I might be very interested in getting into this. The gene mapping. Not so much as the flesh is weak. But we could make ourselves extremely nice. So let's get the gene mapping. Here we go. Uh, species. We'll have three points here. So we're going to be modifying this template. We actually get rid of everything. So amenities from jobs. And housing usage. And we could save up. We could also just get these and get a new modifier in here what would be interesting let's, let's get rid of this let's go modify the template we could get more research but we'll be um the numbers i can i want to get rid of this let's create this template and we're going to be um setting this template can we can we just apply this template can we can we do that? Oh, we are mapping, so that's not happening. As long as this one is here, we can't do this. Yeah. So we'll have to wait until that uh, changes. And this will definitely help us. We'll have to go over all of our planets and making sure that uh, this all stops. Ugh, this is so frightening. I don't like it at all. So with all of these back into their boxes... Everyone go to your own location. Just hang out. Hang out over there. Let's get some more of that going. More food. Mm, I hope these guys are just not going to be building up too much though. Uh, unspent trade points. So, um, here we go. Apply this template to all of them. Let's research. And this is going to be gorgeous. Is absolutely going to be gorgeous. I'm, I'm really liking this. And uh, we'll get more points. And we can always boost our um, population with that. Or actually, like one of the traits. Uh, but for now, we are lacking all of, um, of the negatives. Okay, so is it going to be fleets over the rest? Um, sure. But first thing, it is going to be fleets. This is just one ship. We need a lot more. No point, we'll just build up on alloys. He's going back as well. They are all looking very nice. 
I'm hoping to get more unemployment somewhere because <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Oh, that is such a negative. Capacity overload. We're not there yet. Mapping the star. Farming subsidies is active. That's the thing. That's what's frightening me. Because it is inactive. And it's just a, a job thing at the moment. We have a lot of unemployed. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, we're almost out of the energy negative, which I really like. Abandoned gateway. We send spray. Let's go. I wonder which uh, which of these enemies is going to make, or which of these empires, I should say, with not enemies yet, is going to make the biggest mistake. Mm, probably me. Well, I guess it's time to start boosting the fleet. With a bit of fleets in, we're only at negative 8, so that should be enough over here. Do we actually have these things set? It's a forge world. Yeah, tech world, fridge world. Sure, so that will boost food. No, this will boost everything. Why is this fridge? Because it is, it is just that. It is a bit of everything. Ah, oh, this will go away. So nice. So com incredibly nice. Generator world, even though it is probably going to be fridge as well. I wonder. Look at this. Oh, wait, actually, no. I was thinking this was the unemployment for a second there. I don't know why. So this is really frightening. Oh, here we go. Hive. Um, I would like to get rid of this, and by the looks of it, we do need to change this into that. So let's make two of those. Seven unemployment, that will change. Go away, we don't care about you. So that will bring it down by 36. Making it somewhat manageable. If we didn't have the edict going, <laughs> you can imagine how bad it's going to be. Oh, boy. Can we make something over here that would boost the food? Hmm. Let's make the energy grid as well to get that unemployment going. It is just one tech job. So it's actually quite a good building. Abandoned terraforming equipment. Dismantle or resume. Let's take a quick look here. I would like to resume this. Where is this? It's over there. In foe. Yeah, let's resume that. Why not? Let's research this. 32 months until our species change. We'll have to do that twice because species, we, we, we still grow and they are using the old tablet. Um, not ideal, but then again, doesn't really matter. Our construction is complete. I can't wait until we actually get our destroyers to be anti-missile. Uh, anti mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost the first one. It will immediately boost this. <laughs> because, wow. That's, uh, that's a negative, man. That truly is a negative. It's scary. It's really scary. I've said that a hundred times already. Okay, let's um, sell this. Buy more. So, negative 46. Negative 12, apparently. That is so weird. So an old factory was added to... Somewhere. Are you going to insult me, mate? Interesting. Where the f where are you? Over... You, this guy. Why are you insulting me? What did I do? I'm just eating away at the other species. Like, we haven't even dealt with each other before. Um, let's get you. You got your very first cruiser with military power of 363. A war declaration. Here we go. Um, these guys are going to war with the, the tribes. How large is this war going to be? Are you going to be all invested in this war? Yes, you are. And 
You are as well. P precisely as I predicted, these guys are going to war. Everyone is going to be joining. So they won't be attacking me. These guys, I don't think they will attack me. They are now getting superior in the economy. Which is semi-frightening. But we'll fix our food. Once our food is fixed, I'm happy. I don't care about that. We could use this momentum. We can declare war. We could. And we would backstab these guys. Actually, bro. No, actually, it's not backstabbing if you're not allied, right? That's not how it works. Uh, but for now, we are just going to sit still. For a second. Because we are building up the fleet. And... You are fully, so you can upgrade. And we are going to do that. I wonder what it will do. What our fleet power is going to look like. It will go up, because missiles are doing a bit more damage. I wonder. Very, very looking forward to this. So 40, 120, 160 it would be. So our naval cap is low. That will change. Oh, look at that. We're finally in the plus. We're finally in there. <laughs> oh, that is such a relief. <laughs> oh, look at that alloy count. That's horrible, man. That is horrible. Oh. So, when are we ready? Well, we don't go to war with these guys anytime soon, but getting all of our fleets in here and just making uh, these guys ours. This is a brilliant system to have. We could have a very, very nice amount of um, territory. I'd say, once this guy is done upgrading, he will go there. And we cannot reinforce that just yet. We'll have to wait. This is actually a destroyer, but we're going to do it. Now everything is in the plus, so we can actually start selling everything again. To make sure we have a bit of a positive going on. Uh, we do need a... Hive War. And I want to get rid of the the districts, the, the planetary districts, actually this one. They had hive districts, so we can get some more food and stuff in, which is fine. There you go, he's done, 3.1, One, let's start sending you over there. It's going to be a, a year, that's a long ass time, a long ass time. Hmm... Seen a file. Overwhelming, of course. Uh, this guy is going to be losing his fleet. I want to see him losing his fleet. Now, what I'm thinking will happen is they will attack this guy first. And he's actually going in already. Did you lose something? Equivalent? And you are? Superior. They lost their fleet. Another war breaks out. Um, Over here. With the uh, the spider thingies. With them, these two. Oh, it's so nice. This is such a warring galaxy. I like it. I really like it. The AI is doing a great job there. New tech. We got the energy from uh, our technicians. And planetary superconductive will turn minerals. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. That is absolutely gorgeous. Should we get rid of this, or should we take the planetary uh, stupid, stupid computer? <laughs> a super computer. There we go. He is going. We need to upgrade you some more. You're at full strength. That means that we're going to be using all of the alloys to, up alloys to upgrade that. And we're going to help these guys out a bit by taking all of this terrain. Let's get our transports. In there as well. Not, might not be enough. Might not be enough. But we don't have to worry about that just now. We are, of course, preparing for war yet again. Generate the world. Um, damn. Damn. Damn, what the... the hell? Let's see. Tech-wise, we are doing an okay-ish job. I don't like the word okay-ish. We need, like, a brilliant job. Amenities, maintenance depot, which is uh, definitely going to help. How is the uh, the gene mapping going? How long will it take? Where's my research? Here. Okay, so we're almost there. Ten more months. Oh yeah, finishes in ten bloody months, guys. 
That's so nice. We're changing the species. All of the negatives are gone. We're perfect. We only have positives. How about that? We're such a positive species, aren't we not? We're in the plus and we, we, we don't consume other species at the moment. If we go here, you see there's, there's no one else. We consumed all of it. This is on us. Of course, and the edict. We do have to remember the edict. What well, edict is going to die out first? Capacity overload we could take, but I'm going to save it up for now. 113 without capacity overload. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is so nice. Yeah, we sent spray going. And you as well. So, that fleet is done. Let us upgrade. And we have one fleet remaining that we need to upgrade. Let's get rid of agreement broken. Wow, we do. Like, I still don't understand why we get all of these messages without us. We don't care about what they do with others. It's not our problem. What is going to be on us is, is exterminating these guys. And they will have to send their fleets back. They are extremely hostile. These guys are going to be quite low we know that their armies have been defeated right so they are let let them war it out we're going to take this we're going to be taking the the, the senra tribes all of that terrain is going to be for us they just don't know it yet okay we got something over here on the forge world um actually what we should do is get the hive horn and get the alloys in here as well. Get more alloys. Slowly we'll get there. Slowly, guys. I want to push this up to 200. If we can push this up to 200, then that's that's brilliant. Anyways, that's it for this time. I'm, I'm actually hoping you are enjoying yourself still. If you're still watching this, then I'm, I'm saying you're in for the long one. Because we, this is going to be a longer series. I've decided that this is going to be a long one. Because we're not using mods. And because we're not using mods, I don't have to worry about Stellaris updates. Stellaris updates usually break my games. And, and this is going to be gorgeous. This is going to be such a long-ass devouring swarm series. Uh, I'm not satisfied until we get all of it. I want to fight the crises. Since we will be on our own. And with our luck... It's going to be right, like, here. In our own home system. That's where it probably will spawn. Um, yeah, looking very much forward to that. We need to upgrade all of these stations because they are just too weak. We have a lot of things to do with the small amount of alloys that we have. So, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll hope to see you in, uh, in a few more days. Have a good one. Bye-bye.